latest scary encounter, I believe. Uh, Kevin, uh, how you doing, sir? <laughs> Good, great. Thanks for having me on. Well, I think the video is, speaks volumes as to what's going on right now in, here in San Diego. So why don't you talk about it, and then we'll show the pictures as they're happening right now. Well, I came to San Diego for a few days. I was invited by my friend, uh, Kate Monroe, who's a local leader there, and uh, had been doing outreach there for a few days. And I had witnessed this young man here um, uh, beat up this other guy or was beating on him. And so I ran over because I noticed nobody else was really – getting involved and I let the other guy kind of walk past him and then this this uh, young man directed his anger towards me and unfortunately hit me three times smack dab on the on the face. Kevin you are just one of many examples that live on Twitter and other social media platforms as we're seeing what seemingly is utter chaos in certain parts of our country especially in big cities and now San Diego's getting a dose of it. Uh, you're in the business, you weren't adversarial, you were trying to help this guy, right? Well, absolutely, I was there, I was actually out there interviewing the homeless, trying to understand the homeless crisis, why the people aren't there getting help, because I had spent the day before talking to multiple people who were saying, we're being victimized out here every day, it is not safe, where are the outreach workers, we need help. And so yes, I sometimes come in other communities to learn what's working, what's not, it seems in San Diego, it's a lot of what's not working, unfortunately. And, you know, when I saw this guy beating up this other guy, I just, you know, it was an instinct just to run over and stop it. I didn't expect this person to hit me. I was hoping just to ask him to, you know, walk away. But, you know, he followed me for about a block, punched me three times. I did not fight back because that doesn't solve anything, right? Because that could have made it 10 times worse. So, unfortunately, I had to you know, took a few punches and that's okay. What I say to this is I, I got off lucky. The people I interviewed are going through far worse things every single day on the streets of San Diego. Kevin, there seems to be four bins. People who are down on their luck and need a helping hand up. The people that see the substance or drinking abuse, mental illness. And then there's that fourth element that's it's a lifestyle choice. And and it's kind of it's that fourth element that that to me is the scariest. But what bin does this guy fall in? Mental illness, substance abuse, or is it too impossible to say? Well, I didn't I didn't spend enough time with him to accurately assess it. But he didn't strike me as someone who was on drugs, and I, he didn't really appear to be homeless either. So I'm not sure what he was doing in that area. But it is true, the fourth bin, there's a group of people that you can try to the day you die to get them the housing and they're gonna turn it down. So then the question is, what do you do with that group of people? Because I've always said 5% of the homeless make all the other homeless look bad. The ones causing all the problems, the violence, the sexual assaults, the theft, all that stuff, right? There's a lot of good people on the streets who just fell through the cracks. So and, and, I, I don't know the, his whole story. But And it's that bin, aggressive aggressive folks with aggressive animals. That bin, seemingly incarceration is no longer an option. And I'm, I'm curious, why is that not an option anymore? Because I think if you could eliminate that 5%, maybe this problem doesn't look as bad tomorrow. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of these cities, uh, progressive type cities, you know, have adopted this sort of uh, new ideology where, uh, you know, everything is decriminalized, drug use, homelessness, bad behavior, really anything. And it's making my job a lot harder because there's a lot of people in the streets that are suffering from these progressive policies that are basically really almost encouraging people to, uh, sorry about that, to <laughs> get off the streets. All right, well, listen, we appreciate you telling your story. We appreciate the fact that you're uh, still in one piece because a lot of folks aren't as fortunate if you watch anything on Twitter and uh, whatnot and you don't know who's packing, you don't know who's got the lethal weapon. And, uh, you know, we should, we, should not be, we should be able to walk our streets without being fearful. And, uh, and I think that should be the goal for both people who have for every side of this issue. I agree. And uh, 100%. Uh, we look forward to your, your next visit with us. All right, Kevin? Thank you. Have a great day.